All right. Today's video is about describing functional relationships from a graph. By the end of this video, the lesson objective is that I can describe a functional relationship from a graph. So this video is going to be a bunch of examples and give you some ideas on how to describe functional relationships when you look at a graph, but the truth is every graph is a little bit differently and you really just have to be able to look at it, make sense of it, understand the x and y axis, and then talk about what happens described on what you see. Very quickly. There are two different types of relationships, relationships for linear functions and relationships for nonlinear functions. In this slide, you can see the relationships for linear functions. And we've talked about this before when we talked about slope. Um, linear functions are the graph of a line, straight line, okay? And there are two different ways to describe them. If they start in the, on the left-hand side and go up or rise, then they are an increasing function. That means whatever happens, they increase, okay? So every time you add somebody to your, uh, to go to the movies, every time you take one more person with you to the movies, the price increases, so your line would go from the left and get higher, okay? The other is the decreasing linear function. That means it starts, they both always start on the left-hand side, um, but they start on the left-hand side and they fall or get smaller, okay, and that's a decreasing linear function. The other type of relationships are relationships of nonlinear functions. Well, obviously nonlinear means they're not a straight line, but they can still be functions even though they're not a straight line and have a relationship, okay? There are three ways to describe nonlinear functions. Some nonlinear functions will start on the left-hand side and swoop and go straight up, or go up, go up, and those are increasing nonlinear functions. Some will start on the left-hand side and go down, and those are decreasing linear functions. The other relationship that you can have when you're talking about nonlinear functions is more what you're going to see. It increases and decreases. So from here to here, it increases, and from here to here, it decreases. Sometimes you're going to see that. You're going to have to describe when it happens and how it happens. So looking at this graph, we're going to determine whether the function represented by the graph is linear or nonlinear, and then tell if it's increasing, decreasing, or a combination of both. Here's what I want you to do. I think you can do this pretty quickly. So I want you to pause the video and write down the relationship. The two questions you're going to answer are, is it linear or nonlinear? That's the first question. The second question is, is it increasing, decreasing, or is it a combination of the two? Pause the video, write down your information, and then come back and see how you did. Okay, so now we're back. Let's talk about it. When I look at it, it's a straight line. So I know that this is, number one, a linear function. It has a linear relationship. And I might be able to spell. The second question is, is it increasing or decreasing? Well, I look and it starts high on the left-hand side and it goes down towards the bottom. So that means that it is a decreasing relationship. So it is a decreasing linear function. All right, look at this one. We're going to do the same thing, only it's already written on. So let's talk about what that means, okay? First, we know that it is nonlinear because it doesn't make a straight line. And then we see some increases and decreases. You need to be able to describe that. We know that from this point to this point, it is increasing. From this point down here, it is decreasing and, again, increasing. Remember that it might have a curved line. It might not actually come to a point sometimes. We still consider that either increasing or decreasing. We go to the uh, peak of it or the, the bottom of it, and that's where we decide that the relationship changes. All right, so let's talk about a practical one. The graph below shows the height of a log boat during a three-minute log flume ride. What is that? Okay, so let's say you go to six or Six Flags and you take the log ride, okay? The question is, looking at this graph, can you describe what happens on that log ride? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about is it linear or nonlinear? 
Well, look at it. Is it a straight line? It's not. So we know that it is a nonlinear relationship. The next thing I want to know is what does the x-axis represent? Okay, so the x-axis, sorry, represents the time that the duration of the log ride. So we know that it takes about three minutes to complete the log ride. All right, and for every half minute, things change. Okay, the y axis represents how high the ride goes. So, for instance, it, we know that it goes up, then it goes straight across, and then it goes down. That's how the ride works. So now we're going to talk about, we're going to determine the points where the function changes, and we're going to describe those changes. So, here's what we know. From 10 feet to 70 feet. So from 10 feet to 70 feet, the height increases. And so we know that we're going to look at the time. So at from half a minute, I'm sorry, from the beginning of the ride to half a minute, so zero to half of a minute, it's a steady increase. The height gets, in, gets higher. So the ride goes higher. And then from half a minute to about a minute and a half, so half a minute to... 1.5 minutes, it stays pretty flat. So the relationship is flat, so the height doesn't change. That's when that log ride is coming across the top. And then we know that from one and, one and a half minutes till the end of the ride, there's a steady decrease. So one and a half to about, about two and a half, there's a steady decrease. And all we had to do was look at the graph to get that information. So if I was going to describe this, this relationship in words, here's what it would look like. The graph shows a nonlinear function. It's increasing when the log ride is being pulled up to the top. It's constant. The height is constant when the log is going across and getting ready to drop. And then it is a decreasing relationship as the log boat goes down the water chute and into the water. One more, let's describe the relationship for pool drainage. A pool is being drained so that it can be repaired. The graph shows the amount of water in the pool during the time it takes to drain it completely. Answer the following questions based on the graph provided. So, the first question is, is it linear or nonlinear? It looks a little, it looks a little um, hazy, but when I really look at it, it is a, a steady, linear, straight line. Okay? The x and y coordinates. Well, the x is the time it's taking to drain it. That's the x. And the y is the amount of gallons of water left in the pool. The relationship of the pool drainage is that it is a decreasing linear function or linear relationship. Okay, so that was just a bunch of examples, and every example is going to be a little bit different. You're really just going to have to work with it. You really have to remember to look at the x-axis and the y-axis so that you can understand what you are um, comparing and what you're describing, and then use that information that you know to describe that relationship. Is it linear? Is it nonlinear? Is it increasing, decreasing? And then you're just going to tell us about what you see in the graph. All right, we'll practice this. We're going to have a bunch of questions about it. So just bring your notes, write down everything that you need to, and we'll work on it in class.